Gramin Bharat, the rural India, the various steps which we'll take towards strengthening our economy. Mahatma Gandhi ji had said, the soul of India lives in its villages. This year, even as we are marking the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, I submit that our government keeps Antyodhya at the core of all its efforts. At the center of everything that we do, we keep and Saubhagya Yojana have transformed the lives of every rural dramatically improving ease of their living. Household access to clean cooking gas has seen an unprecedented expansion through provision of more than 7 crore LPG connections. All villages and almost 100% households across the country have been provided with electricity. A combination of a combination of efficient implementation and enthusiastic adoption has significantly improved access to energy for rural households. By 2022, the 75th year of Indian independence, I would like to assure the nation that every single rural family that every single rural family, except those who are unwilling to take the connection, except, Speaker Sir, it's important to understand, except those who are unwilling to take the connection will have an elect electricity and a clean cooking facility. Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, Gramin aims to achieve the objective of housing for all by 2022. A total of 1.5 crore rural homes have been completed in the last five years. In the second phase of PMAY Gramin during 2019-20 to 2021-22, 1.95 crore houses 1.95 crore houses are proposed to be provided to the eligible beneficiaries. These houses are also being provided with amenities like toilets, electricity and LPG connections. With the use of technology, the DBT platform, the direct benefit transfer platform and technology inputs, average number of days for completion of houses has been reduced from 314 days in 2015 and 16. It took us 314 days, Speaker Sir. Now it is only 114 days. Please allow me to repeat this. If the completion of houses required 314 days in 2015-16, in, by the time it was 2017-18, it has now come down to only 114 days, and that is why the scale of our achievement is possible. Fishing and fishermen. Fishing and fishermen communities are closely aligned with farming and are crucial to rural India. Through a focused scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, the Department of Fisheries, will establish a robust fisheries management framework. This will address critical gaps in the value chain, including infrastructure modernization, traceability, production, productivity, post-harvest management, and quality control. Pradhan Mantri Sadak, Gram Sadak Yojana has brought many socio-economic gains in the rural areas. To accelerate the speed of achieving universal connectivity of eligible habitations, the target of connecting the eligible and feasible habitations was advanced from 2022 to 2019 itself. I am happy to inform 
that all weather connectivity has now been provided to over 97% of all such habitations. This has been possible by maintaining a high pace of road construction of 130 to 135 kilometers per day in the last thousand days. Committed to the agenda of sustainable development, 30,000 kilometers of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana roads have been built using green technology, waste plastic and cold mix technology thereby reducing the carbon footprint. With the changing economic scenario, it is important to upgrade roads connecting villages to the rural markets. For this, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana Phase 3 is envisaged to build to upgrade 1,25,000 kilometers of road length over the next five years with an estimated cost of 80,250 crores of rupees. 1,25,000 kilometers of roads will be upgraded under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana Phase 3 and the amount estimated for this is 80,250 crores. Considering the fact that majority of people still live in villages and depend on agriculture and traditional industries, the scheme of fund for upgradation and regeneration of traditional industries through SFURTI, Spurti is it, aims to set up more common facility centers to facilitate cluster-based development to make the traditional industry more productive profitable and capable for generating sustained employment opportunities. The focus sectors are bamboo, honey and khadi clusters. The SFURTI envisions setting up of new, setting up of 100 new clusters during 2019-20 which should enable 50,000 artisans to join the economic value chain. Further, to improve the technology of such industries, the scheme for promotion of innovation, rural industry and entrepreneurship aspire has been consolidated for setting up of livelihood business incubators and technology business incubators. The scheme contemplates to set up 80 livelihood business incubators and 20 technology business incubators in 2019-20 to develop 75,000 skilled entrepreneurs in agro-rural industry sectors. We will invest widely in agricultural infrastructure. Speaker Sir, we will support private entrepreneurship in driving value addition to farmers' produce from the field and from those from allied activities too, like bamboo, like timber, from the hedges, and also for generating renewable energy. Annadata kyu urja data bana nai sakte. Annadata urja data bana ne ke liye. Bout sare hamare programs hai. Daring through cooperatives shall also be encouraged by creating infrastructure for cattle feed, cattle feed manufacturing, milk procurement, processing, and marketing. Speaker, sir, I place my appreciation for our farmers who have made India self sufficient in pulses. Dalhan ke revolution jo hamare kisan ne kiya hai pichle dead saal me kiya hai uske liye unko mein badai dena chahti I am sure they will repeat such a success even in the production of oil seed Dilhan me bhi hum umeed rakhte hain hamare kisan aise hi safalta paayenge Our import bill shall be reduced by their seva We also hope 
to form 10,000 new farmer producer organizations. We ensure economy. That will ensure economies of scale for farmers over the next five years. The government will work with state governments to allow farmers to benefit from ENAM. The agricultural produce marketing cooperatives act should not hamper farmers from getting a fair price for their produce. Ease, ease of doing business, ease of doing business and ease of living both should apply to farmers too. And we shall go back to basics on one count. Speaker, sir, I would like to draw your attention. We shall go back to basics on one count. Zero budget farming. Zero budget farming may not be a new thing. That is why I said we'll go back to basics. We need to replicate this innovative model. Some states have already tried somewhat. We need to replicate this innovative model through which in a few states farmers are already being trained in this practice. Steps such as this can help in doubling our farmers' income in time for our 75th year of independence. Ensuring India's water security and providing